thank you so much for joining me in this video. We are back for another episode of the Care Collab series. Uh, following the procedures, several channels from all over the world join up to share their experience with growing the same orchid. This time we are talking about Zygopetalum. The list of participants for this episode is quite extended, which shows how popular these orchids are getting. The names of the channels participating today are going across your screen now and uh, will also be mentioned in the description of this video together with the links to their videos so that you can watch them later. Zygopetalum is a small genus but uh, although the number of species does not exceed 15 uh, or so, there is quite a number of hybrids which are lovely and fragrant. I have two for the time being, one of which is in bloom now. I really want more. <laughs> However, I could not yet find locally the plants I want. For the time being, I am concentrating in learning how to grow the ones I have. One of the great advantage for me in growing zygos which I found out only recently, is that I can grow them outdoors all year round. I don't grow them in open air anyway, I keep them under the porch protected from the winter rain. Zygos have the reputation of being fussy orchids, but uh, I have learned that um, they are not that difficult. For starters, they need to be potted in a good water retentive medium as they need their roots to be kept moist at all times. However, they should not be uh, kept wet or soggy. They will do well that way. Mine are potted in cocoa chips mixed with orchata bark. Another important thing to know is that they hate to have their roots messed with, and so we best leave the roots alone and uh, they will grow well for you. The roots are quite happy to be a little overcrowded in the pot, so there's no need of repotting on a regular basis, as long as the medium is not decaying, of course. I keep both my zygos in um, bright uh, light, uh, with uh, occasional direct sun early morning or late afternoon, either summer or winter. This one I have in bloom is Zygopetalum trozy blue. It was a gift from a friend. One of the characteristics of zygos is that they throw a spike while the new growth is just starting. As you can see here, the new growth is still very thin and young, but uh, the spike is even thicker than the new growth. On the opposite side, the plant is shooting another new growth. With a bit of luck, I might get another spike in the near future, although the spikes take a long time to grow. Zygo flowers are gorgeous, usually in a mix of green, plum or purple-blue and they are fragrant. The, the worst part with zygos is that their foliage tends to get black uh, streaks and spots. This uh, other zygo I have here is quite small because we had an issue. This is um, Zygopetalum romi, uh, the uh, Real name is on the screen now, it's very complicated to say. I bought it recently. It was in bloom when I bought it. I ordered it uh, online. Unfortunately, only two days later I noticed that the spike was broken and rotting and the pseudobulb it was going, growing from was also rotting. I really did not want to be bothered and I decided not to ask for a refund or to make any claim. It was indeed a very cheap plant anyway. I almost threw it away, but then I decided to give it a try 
And uh, hold and behold, it grew this new growth soon after. I was absolutely thrilled. I also keep this one outdoors. I don't want to keep this video too long, so this will be it for now. For further information, I suggest you take a look at my previous Kerka Lab video. I'm leaving you a card on top of the screen now, as well as a link in the description. I also remind you uh, that uh, you can get further information from the other videos being posted today about this subject. You will easily access them through the links in the description. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I thank you so much for watching. I will be back soon with another video. I'll see you then. Bye!